Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Veda and this is The Simple Budget. Here on my channel, I show you how my family is using the zero-based budgeting method in order to get out of debt and simplify our financial life. If that sounds like content that you're interested in, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button and join our little crew here. And with that being said, let's get into today's video. Well, hi and happy Monday. I hope that you guys had a great weekend. Um, ours, um, if you guys saw on Friday, I got my video up late because we had a pool day planned with our kids and we ended up getting stormed out. So that was kind of a bummer, but you know, sometimes stuff like that happens and we ended up um, running some like necessary errands and then had a pool day on Saturday instead. So it all kind of works out. Um, today we are going to be doing a cash stuffing. We're going to be stuffing $879. And so I'm just going to go ahead and get right into counting this cash. Oh, this is a thick stack. Okay, ready? Uh, one, two, 53, 54, 5,500, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 700, 710, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 75, 85, 95, 800, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 879. Look, I don't want to like toot my own horn or anything, but I actually think that my counting was impressive there. I don't think I've ever had it go so smoothly before. It's gotten much better over the weeks. I have gotten better over the weeks. I still, like, I don't understand. I deal with cash almost daily, especially at my job. And I, I don't understand why it's still such a struggle for me, so... It's fine. I'm actually a lot smarter than I come off here, I promise. Much smarter. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that validation. <laughs> All right, the rest. Not that you come off as dumb here. Well, no, I just think when you struggle with a basic function like counting money, it does It does not bode well. They think it's easy. People think it's easy. It's not that easy. It's not that easy. Okay. Especially when the bills stick together. That is frustrating. Anyway. Although I am grateful in the comments one time, somebody said to separate the new crisp mm -hmm. bills and put the like run down bills in between them. And it makes counting much easier. Yeah. And that has proved to be one of the best little tips that I have ever gotten in the comments. So if that was you, thank you. Um, okay. So first up, before we get to stuffing, I am going to go ahead and just grab my receipts for my wallet here. Um, for those of you who may not know, um, there are two rewards. I, I use a bunch of, re of rewards and cashback apps, but the ones that are most prominent for me are Fetch and Receipt Hog. Um, all of the information as far as referral links and things are always listed down in the description bar. Um, I if you don't know, you just take pictures of your receipts, you upload them to the apps, and then you accrue points based on that. And then you can turn those points in for either cash or um, gift cards at pretty much like anywhere. Um, and so that's what I do with these receipts. Like I mentioned, all of the referral information is linked below. If you use my referral code, I do get bonus points, um, but you also get bonus points. Um, and in addition to these, uh, to Fetch and Receipt Hog, the other one that I use the most that I really like is Upside, and that's one for gas. I almost never mention it here because we don't cash pool for gas because the app requires you to purchase with a debit card. And so because I don't cash stuff for it, I'm, I never get to talk about it. But it's it's one that I actually really love using and have been able to get a decent amount of cash back on my gasoline purchases as well. So be sure to check that one out if you haven't, especially because in the summertime, gas is always so expensive. Um, and actually, we have no rollover and no ones because we didn't really like spend a lot of cash this week. So and no, that means no change. 
No change for the coin jar. Oh, no dollars for the savings challenge. No rollover cash. So it is a light wallet week for sure. All right. Well, let's just get into the stuffing. First up, we have our high priority sinking funds and oops, um, groceries. Poor thing has been depleted. If you watched my most recent um, weekly check-in, you will know why. Just been a grocery heavy sort of few weeks. And so it's depleted. Um, People got to eat. People got to eat. That's right. Um, so we will be stuffing this $325 today. So it's 100, 200, 50, 320, and five. And that is all that poor little groceries has. I'm going to, I'm going to make it a challenge this week to like really try to stick under budget would be nice. So we'll see. Um, taxes is being skipped this week, but I will go ahead and give it a count. It's got 20, 40, whoops, 50, 60, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then we have, what did I say? 500. We have 500 in the bank for taxes. By the way, these um, placeholders are available in my Etsy shop. Um, I also, I always have my Etsy shop linked below as well, so... Do give it a look-see if you are wanting some placeholders or envelopes. I make these envelopes as well. And that is that for taxes. Um, next up is medical. Medical is getting $10 this week. And now in medical, we have 100, 250, 70, 90, 300, 10, 15, 16. So 316 in medical. I actually really like these envelopes. Um, when I came up with this like little, I was like, oh, let me just do like a black font and see how it comes off. And I actually ended up really liking this one more than I thought that I would. So anyways, nobody saw an interruption coming, did you? I mean, I know I sure didn't. Haha. -ha. Anyway, um, Next up is uh, car expenses, and it is getting $15 this week. Just get to the 10 and the 5. Whoops. There we go. Wow, I was struggling splitting those bills up. Okay, now on car expenses, we have 1, 50, 2, 50, 60, 70, 85, 90, 1, 2, and 3. So two ninety three in car expenses. All right. Next step is home maintenance, and home maintenance is getting ten dollars this week. You know, I was just thinking we probably could have pulled a little bit from this for those lounge chairs that we bought mm -hmm. for the pool. I mean, it's not home maintenance, but. Yeah, it would have broken up the purchase a little bit. I, I don't know if we should do that, though. Okay. Anyway. All right. So now in home maintenance, we have 50, 60, 70, 85, 86. 86 in home maintenance. I mean, I know it's for things like, you know, broken dishwashers and things, but I don't know. I was just thinking that. Um, household is up next. It's getting $26. Let me just... Okay. Yeah, I just did a 20 five and six this is household and toiletries have been taking a hit the last few weeks but we're gonna be tweaking some things in our budget to make sure that we've actually we're like allotting enough money this is one of the things with cash budgeting and cash stuffing um for those of you who may be new actually this is like one of the best pieces of advice that i can give you especially just even like how far into it we're like six months into it at this point and one of the things that I think I figured out is things like household and toiletries um it really helps if you put if you front load a lot of your like finance like your money distribution into those envelopes because while you're trying to figure out like just how much you spend on those things um, this is something that we've realized like household and toiletries, we deplete them more regularly than we are funding them. And so we are having to kind of tweak our budget as we go, which is fine because we've got some wiggle room in order to be able to do that. But if you were just starting out, I would say front load those things 
for like a few months over like allow your emergency fund to be your buffer for something like car expenses and home maintenance and front load your money more toward household toiletries and groceries just so that you've got money there waiting for you in the event that you haven't budgeted properly. Um, this is like something that we're realizing is we've, we're having to like adjust our numbers and household and toiletries a lot in order to accommodate um, like maybe unplanned for spending or just to accommodate not allotting enough money toward it every month. So that's like my little piece of wisdom. If I could offer something to you is to, to do that. So anyways, next up in the also depleted toiletries, we're putting $20 and I did a 10, a five and five ones. One, two, three, four, five. All right, um, there we go. That is toiletries. I do these smaller denominations in here because we actually buy toiletries either online or with like our debit card more often. So with things like toiletries, I um, always do smaller denominations because these purchases usually end up being debit or um, online purchases that I have to pay back to the bank and in order to allow for um, making change being easier I put smaller denominations in toiletries and household because we do spend from them more regularly so there's that um, close is up next it's getting 25 and I think I just did yeah I just did a 20 and a 5 And now in close, we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 5, 30, 1, 2, and 3. So 133 in close. Uh, next up is Finance Coach, and it's getting $5 this week. Oh, that's a 20. <laughs> that would have been fun figuring out where that went at the end. Um, and now in Finance Coach, we have 20, 5, 35. 35 in finance coach. And this one has to be funded by what, October? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. This is, for those of you who are new, it's $65 that we pay annually to a guy who watches the markets and makes recommendations for where to put your retirement funds so that you're like maximizing your efforts there. Um, our HOA is up next. It's getting $5. Let me pull this cash out first. There we go. And this one's due at the end of January, so we've got some time. Um, so now in HOA, we have 20, 45, 55. All right. Next up are union dues, and this is for my husband's work, and it's getting $10 this week. Meh. There we go. And now in union dues, we have 20, 30, 40, 55. When does this one do? October sometime, I think. October. This was when we, we figured out, oh shoot, we haven't been putting money toward this and we needed to. So we're having to like front load cash toward it. But next year, we'll be able to like spread out, you know, how much money we put in there a month. And emergency fund is fully funded for now. And that's the end of our high priority sinking funds. I guess I'll just put that up there. Um, all right, next up, a low priority sinking funds. This gets the bulk of our funding because most things are low priority, but they just take a lot of your money. Um, Dine Out is getting $15 this week. 10 and a five, and now we have 25 in Dine Out. Work food is up next. It's just getting five, and that's all she's got in there for now. <laughs> Haircuts is up next. This funds my husband and kids, and it's getting 30 this week. And now in haircuts, we have 50, 70, 90, 110. 20, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So 140 in 
haircuts. My daughter's hair is like past her butt at this point. I have got to make an appointment for her to get at the very least a trim, but I'm thinking we might cut off like six or seven inches. So she will be devastated. She really wants to be Rapunzel. Like this is like her thing. So anyways, home is up next. This is home decor and oh, actually, you know what? It's not being stuffed this week. I skipped it. So she will remain empty for the foreseeable future. <laughs> Uh, dates is up next. It's getting $5. And now dates has one, 200, 20, 40, 5, 55, 60, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So 264 in dates. Are you showing that too? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You looked a little bit like, oh no. His is up next. This is my husband's spending money. He is getting $10, and now he has 150, 70, 80, 90, 200, 5, 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 227 in his spending money. Oops. Do you have that? Oh, okay. Next up is hers. This is my spending money and I get 28, 25, six. Oh, that was two stuck together. All right, so now in my spending money, we have 20, 40, 65, 70, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 80, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, six, 86. Man, that's a lot of ones. <laughs> I'm gonna have to condense that one down. Uh, next up is Pretty Hair. This funds my haircut and it is getting eight. So five, six, seven, eight. And now in pretty hair, we have 50, 75, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 96 in pretty hair. And then my lash lift is getting 14. So... And I actually went for my lash lift. It just didn't hit um, the bank account in my last before my last weekly check-in. So I'm gonna have to pay this back to the bank in my next weekly check-in. Um, but now in lash lift, we have 50, 60, 70, 80, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So 106 in my lash lift. So well on my way towards saving for my next lash lift. Lash lift. Um, family fun is up next and it is getting, whoops, 25. So 25, we're gonna be tapping into this one to get some ice cream as a family. So that'll be fun. Um, so now we have 20, 40, 65, 66, 67, 68 in family fun. Uh, miscellaneous is up next. It's getting five dollars. Whoops. And that's all it has this week. Or ten, I'm sorry, that's not all it has. It has ten dollars. <laughs> My husband was looking at me uh, like, wait a minute, that's not right. <laughs> we're to the cent over here. We're not, uh, right? messing with this, this calculation. <laughs> I know. Uh, house project is up next and it's getting $50 and we actually have enough money in here to buy our fans. So we're going to be doing that at some point soon because we need these ceiling fans. It's warming up. It's warming up in Texas. It's supposed to be in the hundreds this week. We do that today. Maybe. Yeah. yeah we do that today. All right. So house project has one, two, 53, 50, 70, 90, 410. 430, 40, 50, one. So 451 in house project. I'm trying to figure out why this $1 is here and can I steal it for the dollar savings challenge? No. 
Okay, but That's what if? A silly question. But what if I did though? I would just, steal it back. I'm just, I'm no. Just gonna, eh, no. Look at him. He's just gonna go. He's just so pretty. Look at him. Do you want gutters? I do want gutters. Just putting that one dollar back in is how you get gutters. But the dollar isn't really building us in the same way. So we're just going to leave him there. Listen, and I need the people to help me out. The people. And tell her. The people are on my side. She should not be stealing dollars. Stealing dollars. I, <laughs> I'll bet you dollars to donuts that in the comments, everyone's going to be like, I would have moved the dollar too. Because so many people said it from Halloween. Listen, people. <laughs> she's taking dollars out of an envelope to fill a magical dollar ch savings challenge. I'm trying to keep the envelopes in-house project so we can afford gutters. We'll be able to afford gutters. I have faith in us. Do you like foundation problems? Because this is how you get foundation problems. We are, it, this set us back nothing. I pinky swear. Anyway, we're moving on it's to holiday. It's of a bigger issue. You're a bigger issue. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Next the people up, are on my side. The people are not on your side. Anyway, so next up is gifts. And gifts is getting $20. And so now we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 125 in gifts. This one will be taking a hit soon too because we just had a little birthday party to go to for a neighborhood kid. So. Uh, Parte is up next. It's getting $15. This is like one that I'm like, I know that like I'm grateful that we have it when I go to get it. And it's like fun to see it build because it's like, oh, when I need this money, it's just going to be sitting there. It's kind of awesome. Actually, we're going to be doing a little block party on our street for 4th of July. And I did pick up some like paper products and stuff. So that will come from here as well. And that will also be in my next weekly check-in. So stay tuned. Um, so now in Parte, we have 20, 30, 40, 55, 6, wait, let me try that one more time. 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 70. So $70 in Parte. So that's fun. <clears throat> All right. So maybe I should have a 4th of July fund, like a 4th of July envelope that gets its own funding so it doesn't pull from Parte. We'll discuss it. We'll discuss it. We'll I've seen, ones. oh my gosh. The ones from the dollar savings challenge to fund it. Better, better, better. Okay. Yeah. Valentine's Day is it's... getting $5. And now in Valentine's Day, we have 25, 30, one and two. I might eventually steal those $2 too, but for now... I'll spare your heart and just leave them. <laughs> Easter is being skipped this week. Let's go ahead and do a little balance check. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Watch out, she's gonna steal that whole envelope for the dollar savings <laughs> oh, I might steal the one. Like I'll keep the 20 and then steal the one. Anyway, vacation is up next and it's getting $50. And we have 500 in the bank, uh, 50, 600, 50, 70, 80, 95. So 695 toward vacation. I actually really like this font option in my shop as well. It's available for the ones that are, all the envelopes that, you know, look like this. And then on the side, or like in that like portrait style, so... Anyways, <laughs> next step is back to school. And if you guys watched my last weekly check-in, you saw um, we had a little bit of overage in my second paycheck. And so we put a good chunk of that toward back to school because we really, like, we need to prep for it. So um, anyway. Yeah, we, we really underfunded that one. We really underfunded it. But it's okay. I mean, this is like, part of, like, figuring out how to make this kind of stuff work in your budget. Um, and if you, if you do have a paycheck where you get overage, put it in the areas where you're like, oh, wow, I really didn't think about how much I was going to need to fund this envelope. And back to school was definitely that for us. So it's getting 56 this week. So 55 and then 56. And so now in back to school, we have 50, 75, 85, 86, 87, 88, and 89. And this will be very helpful because there's a weekend like toward the end of July where Texas has tax-free shopping weekend for school 
related purchases. Um, and I like to get all of the kids' school supplies then when that happens. So I really want to make sure this is funded for school supplies by then so that we can take advantage of that because I'll take advantage of any tax-free weekend, that's for sure. Halloween is fully funded at, let's see, 140, that's not right, 148? 1, 20, 40, 60. Yeah, I have to update that. It's $160 in Halloween. So that one, we're done funding until Halloween rolls around, which is nice. Um, Thanksgiving is up next. It's getting $5 this week. All right. And now in Thanksgiving, we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 115, and 120. In Thanksgiving. Oh, can you run and go get me the red Sharpie? I'm so sorry. Thank you. Where Next, it? Uh, it might be in the, the package drawer. <laughs> um, okay, so next up is Christmas. Christmas is actually getting $50 this week. So I just, I did a 50. Hold on, you have to wait for a minute. Well, yeah, I can still count it though. So I will be, this um, Christmas savings challenge is from Taylor over at, um, what? Oh, Taylor over at A Little Of It All. Um, I will go ahead and link the, the savings challenge bundle below. It's so, so cute. The whole Christmas savings challenge bundle is just fantastic. Um, and I have each of these little bell clusters counting for um, $20. So since I'm putting 50, I'll get to finish the circle here. <laughs> and then circle another two of them. So toward our um, Nutcracker tickets, we have 20, 40, 60, 80. Um, but in Christmas in general, I have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 50, 70, 85. So 185. Um, but I started this particular savings challenge. Um, I'm losing my English. I, tar I started this particular savings challenge after I had started, after I took Christmas to the bank the last time from the last 500 I had. So that's why like the numbers are off. But once we complete this um, savings challenge, we'll have all of the money that we need to buy our Nutcracker ticker tickers. Nutcracker tickets. Um, cause those, it's, <laughs> oh no. Um, I wanted to make sure that this one was one that we specifically earmarked money toward because they start selling them like in late October, early November, I think. So yeah. anyways, so that's that for Christmas. You said and, 185 for that? I'm sorry, what? 185 for that. I think that's what I said. Yeah, I think that was right. 50, 70, 90, 110. 30, 50, 70, 85. Yep. 185. Oh no. There we go. That one has like a little bend in the corner. All right. Zoo is the last thing we are funding for the day. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <sighs> I missed a, oh. It's not the last thing we're funding for the day. Okay, sorry. A zoo is getting $16. This is to fund our annual zoo membership. And so now in the zoo, we have 20, 40, 55, 60, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And this will be due at the end of February. So that is why we put money toward it. Last up for the day and getting its first ever funding on my channel is the pool and the pool is getting $16 also. This is just how it breaks down like for the annual cost and then dividing it throughout the whole year. So um, I have to put a an expense tracker in here, a little cash tracker. Um, I do sell those in my shop as well. Um, I sell some things are digital downloads and some things... Like my um, 
my placeholders are digital downloads and physical products. And then my envelopes, obviously, and dashboards are all physical products. But all of that, I'll link my shop below. So um, last up, we will be adding this $1 that I stole to the Dollar Savings Challenge. You much feel ashamed about that. I don't. I you actually, should bring you. No shame. You shouldn't be talking about it. Completely, completely shameless. Anyway, this is getting nice and chunky. So I that'll be a nice. Money. Oh, my gosh. That'll be a nice contribution to our vacation fund. You won't be upset when you're eating the ice cream or something. You sit on a throne of lies. I, I know. I probably also smell like beef and cheese. You do not. You smell lovely. Oh, thanks. <laughs> All right. Well, that is it for this week's cash stuffing. Well, actually, we will have another cash stuffing this week. We're going to have the first ever cash stuffing of my business binder from my Etsy and YouTube paychecks. Yeah. So that'll be a bon little bonus video this week. Um, and also, we are going to have the budget with me go live this week as well. That's always a fun one. Everybody really likes the budget with me. I like the budget with me too. So it's like fun to show everybody what you've got planned in your budget for the month. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your Monday and you enjoy the rest of your week. Um, I look forward to seeing you all in the comments as per usual. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.